Some of our students want to share information about how you can support autistic musicians in rehearsals and performances this Autism Awareness Month. Tip 1. For some autistic people, uncertainty and change can be hard. Talking through the schedule of the rehearsal or performance can be helpful to calm any anxieties. Be aware of how change can be difficult. In our experience, talking through what's going to happen can help. It may help to ask if the individual wants to go over it again, as repetition can provide more security or clarity and a feeling of safety. Changes of environment and changes to people around the person can also be challenging. Some autistic people experience sensory overload and they may need some time to get used to the environment around them. It is helpful to know a safe space they can go to if needed. When asking the person questions, give them lots of processing time. We have found that it can help to suggest that they are the first person to arrive so that they can get used to their surroundings before the rehearsal begins or by showing them their individual safe space before the rehearsal. The safe space itself needs to be away from other people and needs to suit their needs. It is important to ask them or their carer what stimulation can be overwhelming for them and how to reduce those stimulations in that safe space so that you understand what they might find challenging. So for example, if bright lights are overwhelming, then define the space with dimmer lighting if possible. Tip number three, expect the unexpected. Some autistic students may need time to process a conversation or question and therefore have a delayed reaction or short response. Be patient and understanding. Be aware that sometimes when people on the autistic spectrum are processing something, they can communicate something that they didn't mean to or come across as being rude. It can be frustrating and upsetting to an autistic person if they realise they've come across in a rude way or offended somebody by accident. If that happens to you, they probably didn't mean it. From talking to some of our autistic students, the best way to respond to an unexpected reaction from the autistic individual is if you make an effort to be kind and understanding. Tip four. Some autistic students can get overwhelmed in their environment, so visual communication can be helpful. For example, when asking a question, try giving them two options and holding out your hands to represent each option. This way they can visually choose. For most autistic people, it is helpful to make questions short and clear and avoid jokes or anything that has to be inferred within communication. An autistic student may have their own visual resources with them that you could use to help them communicate. For example, a checklist that reminds them of things they might need or can do to help themselves when feeling overwhelmed. Or a card with feeling faces to help them show how they are feeling. Green may indicate feeling okay and red to indicate not feeling okay. If you are worried about someone in your rehearsal, make sure you speak to a member of staff or direct that person to a staff member. It may also help if you know of a friend who's at that rehearsal, he may know what to do to best help that person and could be a good person to help communicate what's wrong and how the individual is feeling.